3, 2, 1, boom, and we're back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and or accessories at zenroclothingco.com and don't forget to use offer code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. Okay, that being said, we are in a quarantine time and a um, potential recession time, so feel free not to pick up anything. It's up to you. But we got a lot to cover in this episode. Fish just got back from India. Uh, let's start mm-hmm. there. Let's start there. So how was your trip? Well, it's good. It's good weather. That's cool. Good. Did, yeah. did, did you end up finding a statue? I did find a statue. Yes! 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 <laughs> it's, what is it, third time? So I just like, okay, I'll get this one. Oh, uh, wait, is, is it Shiva? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. All right, that's cool. When, when um, well, I had to buy it like at a, like some temple place. So it's like uh, the way they were trying to sell it is like, oh, if you pray to this, you'll get a lot of good stuff. I was like, yeah, we're not using it like that, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. You finally got it the third time. All right, cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is, is it like? Um, I guess we'll see it when it comes. It's uh, like yeah, it's like a metal metal thingy or bronze or whatever it is. Nice, cool, very uh, cool. Yeah. Um, actually, to to preface this, because it's a uh, COVID remote podcast, uh, since you just got back from India, like Tuesday, mm-hmm. when when did you get back? Monday night or like midnight when I got out of out of the airport, but I landed around like Monday nine o'clock, nine p.m. Oh dang! Okay, true. So, so because of that, um, you're quarantined to your parents' home, and yeah. uh, that's why we're not. That's why if you're like checking this out, you don't see any like gaming. Uh, that's potentially why, unless Vish like supplies some sort of stream and then I overlay it on top. But, but yeah, it's not your usual podcast because of the unusual circumstances. So, mm-hmm. um, in terms of your trip to India, like anything cool? This time different. Oh, do you hear about the the COVID stuff while you're there? Yeah, I mean it's happening there too. I mean I have access to the internet, so I know what's going on. Oh, really? It was. Uh, I didn't know it was like there as well. It's there, but not as uh, the numbers aren't as high as that we have here. Really? So like, like what what is what's the numbers looking like? Uh, I th- maybe now it's closer to just about two hundred. Oh wow! And they have like. Like, how many people? Like, millions and millions of people, right? Billion people. Yeah, most of it is all, again, from people coming in. Uh, so, like, people that came in from Italy or, like... Oh, right, 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 right. Are they able to, like, lock yeah, it down? Or? The thing, yeah, the thing with India is, like, there's a lot of people... Like, India, like, the, a lot of people work in um, IT, so they go to different countries. Oh, true, so, and they have to come and bring it back. Yeah, They have exactly. the potential for that. Oh, exactly. that sucks. So, a lot of it's coming in from travel, so they're trying to. I think right now, actually, like when I left, it was like the right time to leave because basically they're not allowing any international flights to come in oh, as okay. of now. But they can, and, they can leave right now. Uh, that's the thing. Like, if international flights are not coming in, I don't know how the planes will be able to fly out because you're using the same plane, right? Oh, true. I don't know what the situation, how it's going on right now, but like they, I know that you can't get in if you're not uh, Indian, Indian of like um, nationality. That that's so interesting because like that what I mean. Yeah. When mm-hmm. when you were um, when you were coming back, that was the day that like Trudeau said like, um, no, like they're gonna like ban international travel now and like like to come home as soon as you can and like. With your situation, I was like, oh, you're, like, literally just getting on the plane, so I don't know if this is going to affect you, you know what I mean? Like, Right, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, basically, you know, I, I came back at the right time. It was, like, the, the exact time of when they were going to, like, I think it was, like, the next day or the day after they were going to start, um, uh, uh, like, blocking other international flights and things like that, I think. Totally. I, you know, I, I don't believe in, like, like, um like supernatural stuff like that but like there's definitely something going on that's like looking out for like i guess you and i because like i didn't get laid off you didn't get laid off like you came back just as the thing came you know what i mean like no it's nothing supernatural i just think it's just luck yeah 
things happen just out of luck. Yeah, it's like perfect, perfect, like um, perfect timing in that. Yeah, I mean, it is also just the beginning, so we'll see where this even goes in the next couple of weeks. Since all, of all this um, quarantining, even though like I'm doing the quarantine because I'm here or back from a uh, travel, but like they're already setting up things like that. Like there's no school right now here, right? So there's like the, the whole point is to stop it in two weeks. Let's see what happens. Right, right, but like speculation is that i don't think you can stop it in two weeks you know uh well they need to that's what they they're well the idea is to see what they can do in this two weeks or if they need to extend it i know in italy they've extended it like they had stop schools and they had to uh the ex they had to extend the um, stopping schools oh really yeah, yeah. so like um... well, italy Italy's really worse, like one of the worst case scenarios. So. Yeah, true, true. And and I just watched Contagion like two days ago, and I was like, wow, that is so freaky. <laughs> I, I did that too two days ago. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And it's like, it's like what? When they said social distancing in the movie, I was like, oh my god, we're living in this movie right now. I know, almost everything in that movie is exactly the scenario that's happening right now. Yeah, totally. Uh, it's so freaky. But yeah, like, in, in the sense of like the government infrastructure, what's coming in next? Especially the American government. So it's like bringing in FEMA and bringing in all these other um, things to uh, solve the thing. And then, again, talking about vaccines and how long that takes. So. Yeah, totally. But, like, in that movie, they didn't show how long the vaccine would take. But I was seeing, like, Wired. Because, like, people's like, oh, we just need to make, like, a vaccine. But, like, to get but to human that, testing. They, I think they did say that in, in the movie. At least it, it takes it takes months to get there. And, and I think that the timing in that, movie was supposed to be some time like no, but, a, totally, totally totally but like in that movie it's like um it didn't give you a definitive timeline but people are thinking that like yeah we can get a vaccine in like a few months but it's like no you have to go through clinical trials and like like animal testing human trials then you have to like do small batches to see like what the ramifications are yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's months away yeah it's months no, like, away like years like years they're saying like um the wired thing that uh, i saw uh, and then like months to like like what I mean by that is like eight months to a year depends if they can get that right strand. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 But they. But that, that was funny. Do you see that meme where it's like uh, like six hours into being told that that NHL might be like stopped? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the UFT cracked the the isolation code. Like how to figure out how to like isolate the virus. Oh no! I didn't. I didn't see that. Yeah, it was like some meme. It was pretty funny. But yeah. yeah. Um, so, oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, because there was no hockey. Yeah, oh, because there's no hockey, so we like, we're like, okay, we gotta do our best now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I admit that, like, because, like, Rob Ford was saying, like, Doug Ford, Rob Ford? Uh, Doug, I think. Doug? Okay. So Doug Ford, he was like, he's like, oh, uh, Ontario has the best minds or like whatever and I was like actually if you think about it because like UFT is in Ontario so technically mm -hmm. yeah we have like leading edge you know sciences here I mean I, I think all the best minds are working at it right now true yeah that's <laughs> it's true not only in Ontario it's affecting the whole world so the whole world's uh, te technically involved which, trying which is which is so like unprecedented you know like we've never actually been in not this in our yeah, the, the thing is, yeah, in, in this modern era, right? I mean, they had something like this 100 years ago. Right, right. They, everyone keeps referencing that. They're like, um, yeah. the, uh, the Spanish flu, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But, like, with the Spanish flu, the only difference is, like, we didn't have the interconnectivity that we have now, like, like logistically, yeah. airplanes. Like, we're all exactly. just, like, creating content, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like... Yeah, yeah. we yeah. didn't travel as... Um, as easily as it as hundred years ago was right, so we can spread it much more at a vast rate. Yeah, totally, totally. Whereas like before, it was like limited to like specific areas, and it killed like one percent of the world. But like this could kill off like half the well. I mean, this virus thankfully is like not not as bad as like other ones. You know, this could be way worse if this was like I don't know, the freaking like the the death rates like what two percent or something. Uh, currently is 3.4. 3.4. Okay, but, that, but at the same time, that's, like, of the people that are being tested and treated. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, we don't actually know how many people, because there's not enough testing kits, like, who, 
who actually has it and who doesn't have it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's like so some I comfort. Up, uh, did you see the numbers for Spanish flu? No, did I, they, I, I didn't look at that at all. Why? So it infected 500 million people. Oh, wow. That's and, a lot of people. And it killed 50 million people. Wow. That is pretty intense. So that was the Spanish flu. <laughs> okay, so, well, this is not that bad then. Relative, you know? Uh, relative, yes, yes. As, as of at this rate, it is. But again, from what I've heard, I don't know if this is just the starting of it, right? So True, yeah, that's true. As well. if, I think the, the reason they're taking these drastic actions, and especially I think Canada pretty jumped in it pretty quickly with their drastic actions and stopping flights and, mm -hmm, um, yeah. and, and doing this two-week uh, stuff is to uh, dampen the curve, right? Right, right. Um, right or the spike of the number of cases. So hopefully we'll see. We will only know this in the, by the end of the 14 days to see how, where, where the number's at, if it's been decreasing or not. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how, are you, how are you feeling about like, the whole quarantine thing? No, I'm fine with that. I mean, uh, at least I'm... Luckily, I'm getting paid, so I don't really have something, nothing to worry about. Um, just have to find ways to keep my time occupied, either watching. Uh, I, I just saw the hashtag recently, quarantine and chill, like the Netflix and chill. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, yeah that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, that's kind of what I'm doing. Have you, and, been, have you been, like, mm -hmm. going on walks or anything? No, I have not stepped outside the house. Oh, wow, okay, true. That's super, like, I think I'll go crazy. Like, the, I find, like, even in the apartment, it's very, it's very difficult because it's so small. Like, you know, like, where do yeah. you go? So, like, we, we've been going on, like, walks every day and stuff. Well, plus we have to walk, like, Athena, too, so, like. Right, yeah. yeah but, like. No, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm more of, like, a, like, an inside type person, so it's not something. Yeah, well, so I, I mean. It's not, like, no, so. It, it it's not so ridiculous, like it's not yeah. so so um so far reaching from your usual. So it's like Root. yeah. So it's like okay, I just have to stay. But did you, do you feel that like it feels like almost like a, a sick day? I was feeling that from like last week working from home and stuff. I was like, oh, it, it almost feels like I'm sick. You know. Oh, what do you mean by that? Like like le like it, no, no 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 not not feeling, but like sick in terms of like. Um, okay, you have to stay home, okay. Because remember when I got back from Egypt and I was, like, sick for those couple of days and I was like, okay, I'm yeah. just going to stay home and work from home. Right. It, it was that same feeling. It's like, okay, I'm just working remote, you know? And, like, I just can't really leave my house too too often. Mm-hmm. You know? No, uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, uh, it's just because I'm straight coming from, a, like, a vacation, so it's not, like... I'm not doing any work either. So. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I almost wish, like, like not. I don't, like, knock on wood, you know, I don't want to get, like, laid off because of this, but, like, um, yeah. it's, like, it, it's pretty chill for the people that, that, you know, well, I guess EI hasn't kicked in yet, but, like, your situation where it's, like, you're getting quarantined, so you're just getting paid to stay home, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like you, you just, like, vacation for another two weeks. So, like, your vacation is basically four weeks now, you know? Almost five, I would say. Oh wow, oh, that's crazy! Yeah. No, it'll it'll be five at the end, yeah. By the end of it, yeah. Um, but yeah, you can do that right away. Like, if if people are don't have a job or like not or got laid off, you can apply for it right away. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but no, yeah, no. but but the website's been down and stuff because being overly inundated. Or I guess they're making changes well, as well. Last in probably in the last couple of days because of. Oh, everyone, yeah. Oh, no, no, but everyone yeah. getting, like, applying but for it was, and stuff. I, I read about it prior to coming here, just in case I needed to do that. So it it was fine, like, at the beginning of the week, I guess. But how much does EI cover? I think it depends on your salary. It depends on your salary, though. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it's... It's not much, but it's, like, I think it's... I'm not sure if it's different, but I think it's 50%, 55% of your salary. Oh, that's, like, nothing, though. It's not enough, but I think then they have other measures if, if you also need money. That's why they're doing these other stimulus packages. Right, right, right. Damn, that's crazy. I feel really bad for the people that are 
like we're like obviously like in doing this like we're having a podcast and like um we're still getting paid it's like we're in a very privileged state to be talking about this but i wonder yeah. like what it would be like if we you know we got laid off and like we're running out of our savings you know because they keep talking about that i'm watching like the news and like he makes it sound so bad and i'm like that position would really suck well, it is. Uh, that's that's why they're having these press conferences almost every day and talking about what is the step next, what is the step next, and where are we heading? Because they do know what's happening, and I think they have these um, uh, unemployment numbers. They are seeing those, and that's where they need to kind of act uh, fast on uh, where they need to uh, spend the money or put in the stimulus packages and stuff like that. Totally, uh, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Do you, so I'm wondering, like, like, I remember, like, when we were kids and then 9-11 happened and then we were like, oh, man, the world will never be the same again. But that was, like, isolated to North America, right? Yeah. But this is so global that it'll be interesting to see where the chips fall at the end of this, you know? Yeah, I think there will be a lot of things to learn from what happens here and uh, what to take, what steps that they need to take forward if anything like this ever happens again. Totally, totally. But these are all... But there's always things, something new that happens that we never were ready for. And then we can be ready for that again. But we never know if it's going to be the same thing, right? Right, right. I agree, I agree. You know, it's funny, um, like just a sidetrack. Um, I'm watching this Joe Rogan, Duncan Trussell podcast right now. And they're saying yeah. that like, um, well, Duncan Trussell was saying that if it's the apocalypse, like the end of the world, people will still be having like podcasts and conversations because like, that's the last thing we can do. You know, like what we're doing right now is like, it's the last thing before the end, you know, not saying this is the end, yeah. but like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think it's the end. It doesn't. No, no, a hundred percent. No. I mean, I know China has already rebounded. Oh yeah. I was, I was going to say, so, um, the person who edits my articles for uh, shut up and yoga. So I didn't yeah. know she was in Shanghai. So then I was like, oh, here's the new article for next month. And then she's like, she's like, oh, cool. And I was like, oh, stay safe, right? And she's like, oh, yeah, things are getting better here in Shanghai. Like, uh, our two-month quarantine is up, so now businesses are starting to open. And I was like, yeah. I had no idea you were in Shanghai. Like, what the hell? You know, but, like, it's good to hear that on the other side of the world, they're, like, they're coming out of it now, you know? But when she said two months, I was like, oh, man, could we be facing a two-month pause, you know? I uh, I mean that is that is why we have I think acted a bit more sooner to prevent the two months, but I don't know if we have done it soon enough. Right, that right. Is something to see, but it has it will impact almost everything. Yeah, everything we do. I think it'll also impact like what I'm really interested to see from like an economics perspective is like how will this impact our decision making in the future for purchases. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, like, right now, all the big stores, they close, like, Nordstrom's closed and, like, all this. Like, even though the malls are open, like, certain stores have closed. And, like, those are the luxurious shopping stores. So, it's, like, yeah. how how will we bounce back? Because, I, I, so, like, let's say this is done in two months, but you've incurred so much debt, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that debt, you're, like, okay, I don't want to spend any money for the next year. I'm just going to, like, save and, like, pay off my debt. Right. So if nobody's right. buying yeah. things, it's like, what does that mean for those big, like those like affluent purchase companies? You know what I mean? I think that's probably what happens. Maybe people will tend to save a bit more this mm -hmm. year, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think then people start to forget and then start spending on the stuff that they want to spend. No, no. So I, I, I agree. But like in the interim, while people are paying yeah. it off, can those big companies survive? Uh,. I think they will have a big impact this year. Yeah, I know. It, I, it'll be really interesting. I, I don't know, yeah. Um, and and what, what's also interesting to think about, too, is, like, all of the sales. Like, every day I'm getting inundated with, like, emails about, like, you can save on this, you can save on this. <laughs> and it's, like, you're just trying to pull the last bit of money out of me before, like, shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's what's going to happen. Uh, they're gonna try to get people to buy something that they want, and I, I, if people think that it will get better, then people will buy it, right? If people think that this thing will just be back, will become back to normal, and it is now, it's just a cheap time to buy things. People will buy it. I, yeah, totally. I think it's also right. like your your situation. Like, if you still have your job, 
then like yeah. you're like oh this is sweet like like for example like i'm taking it well i'm slowing it down but like i was taking i took advantage of the the sale that they had at coach right because it's like oh this is like 50 percent off plus 30 percent like what's going on this is so cheap right but like but then like like it's only because i'm in a privileged state to do that you know mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's it's just interesting to like to think about i haven't seen the sales myself actually personally but oh, but you don't subscribe to emails yeah i don't <laughs> right so like i do and like i see them all the time right like uh for but they they like mask it like i mean they're doing like some great work but like um i don't know how much of it is marketing and how much of it is affluence you know oh no sorry not affluence um altruism you know, because like, mm -hmm. so some of them are like, right. okay, like, so for example, like Blaze Pizza, they're like, oh, we're not going to charge you delivery fees in this hard time. Yeah. And I'm like, is it because they're taking the hit? So they're like, okay, we just want to get some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about that. It's exactly about that. They need to get some money in, but. Uh... So, so they're like trying to give you like some sort of incentive to spend the money, you know? I've seen some videos like, uh, I don't know. Uh, can you even go inside um, the store? Or... Play a place pizza? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't checked it. I haven't walked by. Because because uh, uh, I seen some videos from China where it's like the way you do it now. It's like you would order from outside of the restaurant, and then they would bring it outside to you. Oh no! Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you so remember? Like, do you remember in quarantine mm -hmm. where like they had those wristbands and you had to like scan in to go inside? uh i don't remember no so but, he, yeah he was in the mall so basically he was in the mall and then in order to enter the store he had to scan his wrist yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i was like oh is that how they're going to uh manage because like they're they're saying like should we introduce a limit to grocery stores so like only a certain number can go in at a certain time you know yeah and, yeah, yeah. and it, think, it might be like one of those too i think they're already doing something like that limiting to how many people can go in at once uh, and I think they're limited and they're even like, uh, I know like shoppers drug mart here was doing like, um, a certain time for, uh, seniors to go in. Yeah. 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 That, that, I think that just came out today actually that yeah. like, uh, you, you can like, it's like 7am or something like that. The seniors and people with disabilities. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a separate time and then, uh, other people can come in and I think they're reducing hours. Oh really? Uh, oh, that's good. Uh, of how long they're open for so did, did you see that thing where um it's like the people that we thought of as like low yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know are now the people that are at the top like they're the people we're counting on so like all these people that are like you know um like line cooks or whatever or people that work at like mcdonald's and we're like oh you just work at mcdonald's blah, blah blah but then like at the same time now we're we're like stay open please you know we need to purchase <laughs> from you yeah like stockers in, in grocery stores are like these are the jobs that kind of are more important now than uh, wall street yeah yeah it's crazy yeah i saw that yeah and like it's um it's funny too because like um like they no not funny i guess but like it's it's sad or ironic no i don't know how to explain this but like in, in getting them to stay open and work, we're putting mm -hmm. them in harm's way, you know, because like certain people are like, getting, getting like um, sick because they're working, you know. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, there's ways to do it where you can prevent them from getting sick. It's just um... no, no, but but I mean, in terms of like having to get there, so like these people, they might not have a car, so they're taking like, TTC, and like right. by taking TTC, they're getting sick. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, some things still need to go on, but <laughs> yeah, that's true. why yeah. You, you can't really shut everything down. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not possible because some things are much more important. I mean, getting food is more important. <laughs> yeah, it, but or so so that's what I meant about like changing our decision making for shopping. Because like late, later on, we might just be like, you know what? I don't actually need that affluent purchase. Like, let me just buy like this maybe you know i know mean? i might have an impact on people's psyche yeah that's what i mean yeah totally
generally i think so as of now yeah with this kind of thing and i think it's a, i think it would more depend upon how long this lasts yeah if it true, doesn't true. last very long i think it won't make a lot of people change their minds but i think if it is a bigger time span then yes yeah it yeah. will yeah yeah really fascinating in that regard have mm -hmm. d i'm i'm also impressed by the way we've like collectively band together as like a society i think that's really cool you know because like now we're like j just the way we responded you know mm -hmm. to this yeah. crisis and like being like okay we're gonna get you guys money we're gonna talk to the rent owners and like you know etc we're, we're gonna stay open for you and like you know it's like yeah. we're showing the true spirit of humanity from this perspective you know because because mm -hmm. i wrote before that article about like uh, I don't think world peace is achievable because there's too many people that are, um, right. you know, too many perspectives. But, like, mm -hmm. this is kind of showing, like, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So all of us are working together against a common enemy. You know, we're putting our differences aside. It's almost like it was if an alien had come down from space. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly that. Uh, I think it's when you have a common enemy, um, you do want to tend to work together to get rid of that enemy. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, what about that? Then we can come back to the way things are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then then we can fight again. You know, but like, yeah. But again, after that, like, it's like maybe this will restructure our like trade systems. Maybe we're like, oh, maybe we can make it more open. Maybe we should work collaboratively as like a one world government kind of thing. Uh, I, it could be. I, I, again, I I think it depends on how long of an impact this has. True, yeah. I think if things do tend to get back to normal relatively quickly, I don't know if we have learned the lesson. Mm, um, yeah, I see what you're saying. So I think it depends on the duration of this um, virus. It also depends on like certain people, because like, um, the, the Miami people who are like, oh, spring break, like we're still going <laughs> to stay open. It's just like, oh man, I don't know how that's going to like go over. Your, the right. ramifications of your decisions later on, you know? So, like, you'll still have those people that don't care, you know? But, like, on the whole, it seems like I, most people yeah, do exactly. care. Exactly. The general public do care, and um, uh, I, 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 in, in, in some ways, I think the general public will like, we know what's the best thing to do, so. There will, of course, be the odd ones out. Which, which which makes it like really optimistic from that perspective because you're like you're like we there is some humanity in us when push comes to shove you know even though yeah. there's like some outliers you know like those people yeah of course yeah 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 of course because I mean everyone's got family so you kind of like think of your own family when you see other people having issues right so it's I. I it's it's all it was always in us, I guess. It's just sometimes it needs these sort of things to kind of bring it up. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree. And then like just the young ones who are like on spirit, you almost can't like blame them because it's like they're just ignorant, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it's like okay, I I get, I get where you're coming from. Like you think that you're not going to be affected by it until you are affected by it. It's like oh, mm -hmm. that's not good, you know. I think I maybe the you know the original numbers showing that it was the older people that were getting impacted. I think that's probably why. Um, right. But yeah. I, yeah. Totally. The numbers are showing now are not necessarily that. So. Yeah, it's like younger people too are also getting it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, especially this; those numbers are coming especially from Italy. So. Mm, really? Eh? Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And but the thing you have to understand what happens in Italy. I assumed this, then I had to kind of look it up and see like what the numbers are. But like a lot of people there, especially in around Europe, a lot of people there smoke. So it's totally that, that, it, there's so many. Up. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on this one. So there's so many factors that go into like why this virus is like like it's also like what about their healthcare system, you know? And like so like the young people that are getting here. You know, they have like yeah. prior conditions. You know, like asthma or something. Mm -hmm. It's not like because, like, on that Joe Rogan podcast, they're saying like the best thing you can do is like really work to be healthy because that'll boost your immune system to fight this thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you see that video? It, it just came out recently about um, uh, the guy who came back from 
was it Miami? I don't remember, but he came back from like a like a party thing. The young person that got it. No, I didn't. I didn't see this. Oh man, it was so like I was like, it's totally cool to like put this on, but like I feel like the PR team uh, called in sick, you know, when this was coming out or something, because like they're like they showed like clips of the party that he went to, and it was just like a bunch of half naked dudes in like leather, and I was like, why would you put that on the? You know, it's kind of weird, like Mm -hmm. quality control or something, you know? Yeah, like you're making that guy look. Like odd, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I guess it it goes both mm-hmm. ways. Like, because I was like, I was asked like, oh, if it was like a girl, would that matter? Like, if it was like not a bunch of dudes, you know? And I was like, no, it, it would still be odd to put that on TV, either or. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like just like laser shows and like half naked people is kind of weird to put on. You know, even though we do it already, but it's just like this is more of like it was his Snapchat story or something that they showed. Oh, I see. I see. It wasn't like it wasn't like footage from the event. It was like he, he supplied the footage, and it's like right. you cleared this. Like what? Did they put it on the news. Or yeah, it's it on C- it? is like CTV or CBC. I don't know one of those Canadian things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty whack. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I guess so. I don't know. I have to see it myself. What, what does this mean for like online communities now? You know. Well, like, I mean, this. Uh, uh, you mean like Twitch? You mean like? Um, yeah, yeah. Like, like streaming is huge. Um, like Netflix is going to get a huge revenue boost. Same with like all the other online channels, like Crave. I believe Disney it did. Plus. I believe they have, uh, and I also think that Netflix is also donating a lot of money because of that too oh really oh that's good yeah i saw with the real i saw Mm -hmm. google also set up like a google fund to like help support you know right yeah well that's wait them supporting or you supporting no no no. google's setting up a google support fund where they're gonna like put their money towards like relief okay yeah but, but yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of companies because they see it now because it's impacting them. So like even Apple, uh, like all their stores are closed, and uh, they are uh, even though they just released a new iPad product. I saw that. I was like, what like, a terrible made... time to release that. No, I think it makes sense because it was already in line, and they just they had to bring it out. Now they can't bring it out. Oh, they do like, right, right, because the stores will be closed. So it's like we don't know how long the stores are going to be closed for. Might as well just try and like get as many sales as we can. No, it's not. It's just a. Re- it's just like releasing an update to the iPad, right? It's just like you don't. If you're you're gonna buy an iPad, you you might as well buy the latest one, right? Right, right. But they did that just as things were closing, though. When it was already closed. Oh really? Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah but there you can just buy it online, right? Oh, oh, have- so that, that's another thing. Like online shopping is gonna become like insanely huge, like um, Amazon and like. Etc. Yeah. You know, like, like we're I really, think, yeah. I, I had mm-hmm. like, I I had this dream. Sorry, I keep saying dream. I had this like, um, this idea when when we were like younger. It was when we were playing StarCraft. I was like in the basement, and we were all playing StarCraft, like in different houses. And I was like, oh man, what if one day we can't actually leave our houses without bio suits? Then everything would be online, you know. <laughs> and like, it's like so many years later, now we're in that predicament. You know, it's like yeah, there is a boost to the online world, world I guess. right? Um, yeah. but there are still things that need to be done that are not online. <laughs> that is also what we're trying to figure out so, how to do. Totally, well. yeah, yeah. But right. I feel like I feel like those people that get those. So, like, all right. So, if you look at the way the world is, like, let's say this becomes the new normal. What it could potentially become is like straight UBI. Like everyone's getting UBI. A universe based income, in case you listen to this and you don't know what that means. Um, mm-hmm. And then the jobs, the people that actually have to have jobs, they're probably going to get such a huge premium for their, like, you know what I mean? Like, we all have, like, standard UBI, and then the only rich people are the ones that actually have jobs, you know, because they have, like, a, like a hazard pay. Right. You know, like having to go outside. I don't know if people who still working like construction and stuff, because like, 
construction's still going on right now, but like that could just be like hazard pay jobs, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I, I see what you're saying, but that's if the world was, um, um, like, like climate change type of world you're talking about. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I was thinking more of like climate change. I wasn't thinking <laughs> like virus. Like that never hit my mind. The virus is just uh, social distancing. Just stay away from me for six feet, and I'll be fine. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, it's funny because like, oh, so speaking of the social distancing thing, a lot of people are like, at least I'm confused because the messaging is different. So like. Are we supposed to go outside? Like, are they promoting that? No, they're not saying to go outside necessarily. Only go outside if you need to go outside. Right, but if you need to, right? But like, yeah. so I've been hearing like, oh, you can go out and like, um, like it's it's like good to clear your mind by going outside. And I was like, is it? Like, are, is that what they're telling us to do? Like, I don't know, because like on certain, uh, I don't know who's saying that, but it depends. I mean, you should. If you are supposed to be in quarantine, you should stay inside. Right. You should go out. If you're not having any symptoms, I don't see an issue with you going outside, but as long as you're keeping a distance from people. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I see that point. Yeah. 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 I so don't... I think it's just about that, keeping distance. Because people, I mean, you got to go outside to buy groceries. So, you, you know, like that, you just can't stop that. But wherever you can prevent if you don't need to necessarily go out. Right, yeah. I think what they mean is more like restaurants. And I think in generally now even restaurants are getting closed, right? So I was I was actually thinking more about like going to parks and stuff, but like they shut yeah. down the parks, you know? Yeah, I think they've have they shut down the parks? Yeah, yeah. All, all Canadian parks are now closed. Yeah, so yeah. You can only walk on the sidewalk, but like even with that, just yeah. Keep your distance and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see what the long term ramifications of this thing is. So, like, all right, let's speak about UBI. So, like, Joe Rogan was talking about this on there. He's like, so, or you just watched the Trump update. So, I don't know if he did an update about like how much people are getting, but they're saying like two thousand dollars a month um, for every person, and like, if that is the case, you that's enough to just stay at home. You don't need to have a job, you know. Two thousand. I don't think it's two thousand a person, but uh, it's in the household. So it depends on how many people are in the house. They could. It's a thousand a person, but I don't know if that's even passed yet. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. It'll take a couple. I, it'll take a couple of weeks, maybe or a week. I don't know how long it takes to get this all implemented. But it was something like that. It'll be for. Uh, depends on how long this thing will be. It might be for just a couple months. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to in order to because uh, people who aren't working, right? Right. If they are, right. they won't be getting this kind of thing. It's more for the people who are in uh, who don't have a job, who are in desperate need. Yeah, you know, who don't have a job and desperate need of the money to spend on food uh, and um, and or whatever else. Yeah. But, but but like think about this though, like. If they can figure out UBI because of this, that would be pretty fascinating, you know? Like, this this could actually be, like, the starting point. Like, like I think what this, this whole thing has really shown us is that we don't need as much as we thought we need, and we can also uh, collectively band together and think about, like, the, the good of humanity. So, like, at the end of this, if things go, like, in a good direction... You know, yeah. we could see like UBI. We could see a bunch of like creators just like being online all the time. You know, and like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean, I uh, hopefully we do learn from that, and that is a very interesting. I mean, it, it was. Uh, it's a very interesting idea. We have done tests for UBI, but like now, here's the time we can actually implement it in a. It's like you're kind of forced for UBI at this point. You know. Yeah, yeah basically that. Yeah. I yeah. wonder if they're going to shut down, like, because they're saying that this all started because of wet markets, and so so did, like, SARS and stuff. And, like, mm -hmm. I wonder if they're actually going to end up, like, stopping those, you know? Uh, that depends. That's all that happens in China. So they have to... I don't know if they will necessarily stop all that, because this is not, like... Uh, I, I mean, I think when it happened, they did stop a lot of them, but I don't know if they're going to start back up again. Right, 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 right. Because it's... China is now back to relatively normal, I guess. 
Yeah. That's, so. yeah, that's an interesting thing. You, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's sad too, because like in different countries, you know, because we were talking about like, I was talking to my cousin and like he's in the Philippines and they're like, oh, they just got their first case in Iloilo, like, which is like two hours away from where they live by driving. Right. And it's like, yeah. if, if they get like a huge, like they haven't had any cases except for this first case. And like, if that spreads, then like they're kind so of screwed, you know? Is, yeah. The thing is, was, was that case from travel? Was that, um, we'll forget what the word they use, but like local transmitted case. Right. right but, but like, are, to, to, totally. But like, if you don't have the equipment to deal with the situation, it's like, Ooh, yeah, it's rough. Yeah. 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 yeah that's another thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, if anyone's listening to this as a promotion to this uh, cause, uh, my sister made me sign like this petition thing because like they were talking about uh, cuts to the safety equipment. Like they didn't have enough. So all the nurses are like uh, pushing for this petition um, to, to force the government to like pay for more equipment. I think they're going to do that. Um, I think whenever there is a shortage, especially now, they need to push... Right, right, but but it's like it. But they're kind of at this point where they're like, "What can we cut?" You know, like, do we really need all that safety equipment? And like, working mm -hmm. actually working there, like my my sister and my mom, like they they're like, "No, we need to like tell the government that we need this equipment because they're running out." You know. Well, yeah, I I don't know what the procedure is here. I think whenever there is an equipment or less equipment, they need to. Um, uh, push for that. I, I, I think there's so many things being involved in right now that uh, with the government that they are wherever they need supplies, they're pushing the supplies. Yeah, I, I, I believe that they're doing the but best they, they can. I think the the other thing is like uh, we need to get the supplies too, right? That's yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. What what's happening in the U.S. is now like these other so like Apple, they're um because uh, they have these industrial masks that are that they could also use in hospitals. So they are like donating like 2 million of them that they have. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. Cool. So, so it's, I think, I don't know how our situation is here. What is our, um, like how much does the federal have in stock and things like that, or the provincial ones. Mm -hmm. But like in the U S is something, it's same thing, something similar like that. So they're trying to get other companies to make masks or make respiratory equipment and whatever equipment that they need. Right. 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 And, in order to uh, have enough, mm -hmm. and I think everywhere we do have a issue with uh, not Shortage. enough supply. Yeah, yeah. At, the moment, yeah, actually, at the moment, so I th like I I'm pretty sure they would have something like that for here too. So mm -hmm. do you, do you um uh mm -hmm. what was going to say uh the I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> money? Oh, I totally, I totally blanked out on what I was going to ask you. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. You got something? It'll come back to me and I'll just shout it out. But yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's a very interesting scenario to see it all happen. Especially, like, since I was gone. So when I was gone, there was not many cases here. And then in three weeks, it's like so much has changed. You, you know what's funny? I was just going through my Instagram. And, like, um, when I first started, like, this was just mm -hmm. a joke to me, right? So, like, my first post yep. was like, oh. And then I looked at the time, and it was just three weeks ago. I was like, what? Yeah, everything changes. In, in it was, very... It's only been three weeks, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, all my, like, because I have the highlights, right? And they were, like, saying, like, like, it started off with, like, somebody making a corona joke to me, and I'm like, haha, that's funny. And then, like, oh, like, is it even that bad? Because, like, the UFC fighters were saying, like, you know, just Google how many people are affected by the flu. So I was like, okay, totally. And then... So that's the thing, yeah, because I, I was hearing that, too. It's like, the flu, but it's, they're generally looking at it with, in a long-term numbers, they can see that this thing will be bigger than the flu. Oh, really? Yeah, much, yeah this is bigger than the flu. Dang. The number of, we will see the number of deaths will be way higher than right. we would normally with the flu. Yeah. I, I just think it's funny to like watch that highlight and be like, oh, it started off yeah. funny 
And then now it's just serious because it's like, oh, we're quarantined, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's everywhere now. Yeah, like, yeah, that's like super freaky. It, it's freaky to think about, but like, I trust that the proper things are in place. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I like with with my travel thing, I, I in some ways, like, I don't like I get the fear. Mm -hmm. uh, because most of the things have come into the country from travel. Right. But you also look at the number of people that are traveling and the number of people that brought it are very little compared right, to the number right, right. Of into the country. That's why, like, when I was traveling, I didn't feel, like, around me, everybody was wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And hand sanitizer, using hand sanitizer everywhere on the screens and cleaning up the screens and wow, stuff. Wow, okay, true. <laughs> like, people are super, like, like oh, scared you don't know oh, yeah, yeah. finish yeah. but the funny thing was like like for me it's like well i'll use the hand sanitizer to wash my hands before i eat anything or something like i i was i've generally always been very careful in touching things and right what I touch. right i've always been like that even like when i go on the, like the bus or like the uh, taking the transit it's like i try not to touch the handles i try not to right it's like, I, <laughs> yeah that's true that's true you do do that <laughs> that's funny because like if you watch contagion that's how it all started right they went to day one and it was like he didn't wash his hands after he held the pig yeah exactly and it was yeah. like oh no that's it that's how we that's how we got screwed you know like, yeah. such a simple, simple thing exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Wait, did you remember what you were gonna say no dang that was <laughs> It's like, it's like right at the tip. Like, I feel like we're going to end this and then I'm going to be like, oh, that's and what I wanted to ask. Yeah, it was, it was interesting to see like how, even on the plane too, it's like beside me, people wearing masks and there's some, I, uh, like, um, some other people who were wearing masks, but then they were like talking about the thing. And like one lady, it's just like, I think it's a little bit like more exaggerated than it is. Oh, that's what she was saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, in, fascinating. In the, like, I mean, yeah, we just have to do the normal things. I think we already, if you were paying attention, it's like masks don't do anything. Uh, in It, it helps in the, in the normal sense, but if you're like touching your eyes, because I saw right, some yeah, of yeah, people, yeah, 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 totally. That's not doing anything. Your mask yeah. won't do anything. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally, I agree. Yeah, that, that part sucks. Well, what do you, um, what do you make of the people that are like stuck abroad, you know? That sucks, where you can't, like, um, there was... Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. I think in Peru and some parts in South America, there's like some uh, kids or some cool things, or even in Europe too. Uh, because of the no flights, yeah, it's difficult to find a way to come back. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Like they really have to talk to the government in that case. Yeah, right? it's totally unprecedented, and the the costs were like five thousand dollars for a ticket. You know. Like, to get back. Uh, and I, I know this person that's, like, traveling for a year. And, like, I've been messaging them, like, oh, how's the, you know, like, hope you're doing well with the whole COVID thing. And he's like, oh, it looks like I'm going to have to come back, you know, cut my trip short. But, like, how much is that going to cost you to come back, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, going going out of pocket. Because it's, like, 5000 for one person. So it's, like, two people. That's $10,000. You're going to come back and be in so much debt. Right. Yeah. Do you see the thing about like the airlines are asking for bailouts? I did see that. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. But I mean, like they had to refund those people. It's like outstanding circumstance. Like you can't. Yeah, I mean, not... when I was, when I was um, checking, what is it called? Yeah, checking into my like flight coming back here. Like they were also, it was free of me to cancel my flight to another date if I wanted to. Oh no way! Oh, that's great. Well, I mean. I wasn't going to. But. No, no, yeah, I told you. But I mean, like, just the fact that it was free cancellation, they'd, like, refund... Would they refund you, or is it just, like, you just reschedule it? Uh, I can't remember, but I think it was, like... It was more like a credit to use within the next 12 months, I guess. Oh, that's lame. Oh, yeah. well, what is what is your dad going to do? Is he just, like, chilling? Yeah, he's fine. Um, Maybe by then it'll be all... Maybe settled. What when when was he slated to come back? Uh in May. Oh yeah, that's like a, that's a while still. 
Unless yeah. this like pushes into September, I wonder like. But he doesn't have anything to worry about since he's retired anyway. So totally, so he's just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but like, like that that's such a scary thought to think that this could continue into like September. You know, what, like what, would you even feel like safe um, going back to work? Like, cause, so like, so what I mean is like, well, actually, well, that, that's a great question. Like. First of all, would you even feel safe going back to work? Yeah, I think in general, it's still very low to get the uh, to to uh, contract the virus. It's still very low. Yeah, as long true. as you're um, you know abiding by the social distancing, I think you'll be fine. But would you would you feel comfortable taking like public transit? Yeah, I mean, I'll be doing the same thing, which is not, not touch anything. <laughs> yeah, true. I guess. And, I, I, maybe it'll be just more and more of that, more of my washing hands, more, you know, using the hand sanitizer, things like that. To try or, to, or somebody's like coughing, you know, it's like. Yeah, it's like, yo, just, yeah, you should not be here. <laughs> there will probably be more things like that. People will be watching for those sort of things. And I think if you have anything like that, you should not be working or you should stay home for that. Yeah, true. I, I see your point. I, I, I personally think like if it's not fully solved, I don't know if I want to use transit to get to work, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's kind I of mean, freaky. I there, it is, like, a huge... Is it, like, 60% down on TTC, I believe? Um, which makes sense. What do you mean? Like, uh, people riding it, or what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. A huge reduction in people using it, so... So, like, if this extends until September, it's like, what does this mean? You know? Like, crazy. Well, it it means um, I don't know what that means. I mean, we, hopefully, we're more closer to getting a vaccine by then. I don't know. <laughs> I hope though it's like the contagion one, where it's like it's through your through your nasal passage, not through an injection. Because oh, right. I I hate needles, so I think I'd just be like, you know what, I'll take my chances. <laughs> you know, that's gonna hurt, bro. Not into that. Yeah. Yeah. Well. But I, I, hear, know, I, I hear if you get it once, like, you're, you're fine, you know? Because then you're protected. You're, like, you've created the antibodies necessary to, like, continually protect yeah, so yourself. That's the, so they all, I remember um, someone talking about that, too. It's more like, not necessarily, unless, uh, if, if the... Um, Virus mutates. The, mutates. Yeah. Then you're not ready, right? Then you're not prepared for... The ne- like, the, ne- the mutated one, so... You, you know what's the scariest part about this whole thing? That you can be asymptomatic. You know? Yeah, that's another. That's like that's so mind blowing to me because it's like you the, could be a carrier. That's the most scary, yeah, that is the most scary part because there was someone um, I saw that on someone that came from one of the uh, cruises. Yeah, and he was he continuously tested positive for corona for almost a month, but he had no symptoms. And this guy was like, oh was my like god, twenty year old person too. No, no, um, no, any nothing kind of no symptom, nothing. But he kept testing positive, so they had to put him in quarantine still. For like wow. over a month. Wow. So there, I don't know how many of those cases are there even out there right now. That's the other thing. That's what's more scary about. It. They they showed that too in like Contagion. Remember that guy? Well, he wasn't asymptomatic. He just was immune to the virus. Yeah. But like, yeah. that's that's so crazy to think that like, it's almost like like God. If there is a God, it's like choosing. You know, like okay, let's let's eliminate some people. You know, like Thanos. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? It's kind of it's kind of <laughs> freaky from that perspective. Mm-hmm. I I really, I really optimistic that things are going to change for the positive when we come out of this. But but what what I mean by that is like I feel like UBI is going to kick in. I feel like creators are going to get like a bigger, um, like a bigger role in society. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I this think could just be the stepping stone. I still think the number of creators is still very low around the whole world, right? Uh, or like, like digital, like, like digital nomads, you know? Like it, I, was, I was saying to my cousin that it's funny, like right now, it feels like when I was freelancing because I'm just working off my computer, you know, and getting like checks. Yeah, yeah. You know, so but it's like... Still, uh, still the number of people that are like that are very, like not that high, right? No, no, so, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. I think like, at the end of this, it might shift towards that direction. It's like, what can we do remotely? 
Yeah, again, it depends on the work, right? Not all I I not I don't know. I can't say most or not, but like not all work is remote. No, totally. Yeah, yeah. But so, but it, like that, like people working in stores and like construction, but like that's what I meant about hazard pay. I think it might shift in that direction, you know. Yeah, again, it depends on how long this thing is there for. Yeah, it's actually that's very true. Yeah, it's it's like it's really like how long will it last enough to cement itself into our psyche where we're kind of just like yeah because right now now. like if you look at china it's already starting to come back up or they're restarting all their factories and things oh that's a fascinating thing you're saying that like the the world is like uh the the climate stuff kind of reset a bit yeah i mean now you can like now uh with them restarting as uh, you can see the uh, influx of the nitrogen or whatever it is into the air. It's mm-hmm. starting to build up again. But isn't that weird that, like, through this time of pausing, the Earth was able to, like, heal itself a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it is very interesting to see. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's also weird. I've been hearing this on the podcast that, like, um, because of, like, humans, like, without humans on Earth, the world would be like a flourishing place, you know, there'd be vegetation everywhere, animals running around, you know, Mm -hmm. it's really just us who've like taken over the majority of the land and like are sucking the energy out of it. And like, and then the, the earth is like kind of like revolting, you know? Yeah. I mean, but they are the ones who made us. So the earth. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So in a way, maybe, it's all part of the whole cycle. Yeah, it's, yeah I agree. Nature, if it's not us, maybe another creature who ever evolved into us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. To, that's true. If you think about it like that too. Yeah. You, you know, it sucks. Like, um, the people that have their like weddings scheduled. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that'll be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're just like, damn, bro. It's sucks. it's scrap. I, I think tourism is scrapped this year. A lot of things are going to be scrapped this year. Like, it's just... Even if we do get out of this, it's like... I think this year, it's a whole... Um, especially tourism. Tourism has taken the big... They will take the biggest hit this year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But again, that's what I mean. It's like, at the end of this, what is what is our economic landscape going to look like? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. I think it's uh, in the next... Let's see what happens in the week. Like week after this uh what are the numbers are at and totally. have we have we had an impact in doing this 14 day quarantine or not and uh or do we need to extend it yeah you know? totally yeah. I, I actually you know what i i kind of remember one of the things i was gonna say is like um oh man i lost it again damn <laughs> um you know what that is that's brain fog from being inside all day i'm just like staring at screens and like mm-hmm. um Oh man, what was I gonna say? The oh yeah, I remember now. Uh, so like prior to this, we were already talking about you know entering into a recession, right? Yeah. And then now it's kind of like with this thing, it kind of like kickstarted it, you know. So now it's like it's like we are already headed towards a recession, and then now with this, who's gonna front the bill at the end of this, you know? Right, but I think it's not just us right it's like it's like everywhere i'm gonna be hitting into a recession yeah that's what um, i mean yeah, yeah yeah totally so it's like this was kind of like the inaugural like welcome to the new time Mm-hmm. yeah 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 i don't know like where uh we have to see how this all goes because it's not just us right it's uh, basically every country is being involved in this now right so yeah, do we true. all just pause for a couple months and then restart it all up again or <laughs> but i don't know if it'll i don't think it works like that you know no no i'm just saying no, no i i yeah i get what you're saying like we're making things up as we go right now. yeah um totally yeah. where we make money we're we're just making the money up yeah totally totally right. so that's what the crazy part is because it's like it's like how how will this kick start when it starts up again you know, yeah. because cause right now it's like a novel time. We're like making it up as we go along, but it's like 
can we revert back to like because you were saying like can you just pause and then restart but it's like can but that if we're, work that yeah way? but if we're making up the rules technically yes but we'll see I don't know yeah I don't know either it would be an interesting time yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's an interesting to see what happens where it goes next yeah Okay. I mean, I didn't expect to be in a 14... I, like, if I was here last week, I wouldn't have probably been in a 14-day quarantine. Yeah, totally, because they would have been like, oh, you just... Like, the whole, like, 14-day like, thing just started when as things were picking in. up. Yeah, yeah, like, literally when you exactly. came back. Yeah. That's when they implemented it, so that's why it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> weird timing. But, yeah. Okay, so uh, are you just gaming now? Basically, that Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime, whatever. Whoever's got entertainment, that's that's what I'm looking for. I've I've seen like um, uh, these lines for e EB games. Like, there's all these sales yeah, for EB I, games I, now, and like, but it's like, dude, you just buy that stuff online. Like, you just digital download it. You don't need to go physically to the store and buy it. Yeah, I know. I don't know why people are doing that. Oh, and, and then they're like, GameSpot has to stay open because it's an essential service during... Essential service, yeah. Yeah, but it makes sense, you know? It's like, people want to game, want to entertain it themselves. Makes... But you gotta, as long as, you know... Again, I don't know if there's social distancing happening in those lines. No, they're not. They, they showed, like, the lines, and then people were pissed. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, yeah, so... As long as you're doing it in a way that's protecting people, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what what brings us to our knees is all the gamers who continuously show up to the stores. <laughs> you know, I don't know why people are going to the store though. Like, yeah, you just digital download order on Amazon, or even even if yeah, even if you want to get a physical one, just order. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah just don't just don't go to the store. I would not go to the store. Yeah, I, yeah, totally. I I would not either. Well, I mean, unless you need to buy like groceries or something, like something super essential, but. To, to no, but that that is that is a necessary thing that you can only do by going to the store. But I'm saying like anything that you don't need to go to the store, I would not go to the store. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. Um this is a good one. I guess we'll check in. We'll just check in. You, you got any final thoughts? No, I mean let's see how this turned out. We're trying this for the first time, so yeah, I know. yeah, that's true too. That's true too. So Hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully we can get back to regular style streaming uh, soon. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so pick up some. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Don't even pick up things. Just just be safe out there. Yeah. yeah. Till till next time. Take it easy. <laughs>